O Labra que tá assistindo, de volta aqui com a nossa série de Fallout 4 Sobrevivência. Eu ainda tô aqui no, no bar, porque na hora que a gente voltar pro mercado já vai dar gatilho da, do diálogo. Vamos ver se vai aparecer, vai cair o negócio? Hum, não, não foi hoje. Já vai dar o gatilho do evento que tem aqui do tiroteio. Que é na segunda vez que você visita o mercado tem o um gatilho. Falei? Essa aqui é a, essa é a sua chance de pegar esse item aqui. Esse item aqui é bom pra carisma, pra colocar fibra balística. Só isso que interessa né, pra gente. Já pode se afastar. Tá bom, já me afastei, sou chato. Vamos falar com a Piper e recrutar ela. You're a vault dweller? I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? Você não tem escolha, tá? Se você usar sarcasmo, você vai ter que voltar aqui fazer de novo. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. Wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes, I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my God, the man out of time. So you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City, how does it compare to your old life? I've been having too much fun blowing things up to think about it. Gotta make my job hard for me, huh? All right, if that's the quote, that's the quote. Now, the big question. You came all this way looking for someone. Who is it? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Find who's responsible and make them pay. Simple as that. I'll take anger over apathy any day. Good quote. Thanks, Blue. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. 
Evita de ser muito filha da mãe com ela, que senão ela, ela fica hey, pistola com você. Vai. Nossa, eu acho muito escroto esse negócio de ficar girando. Sanctuary Hills. Uh, eu poderia limpar a casa dela agora? Poderia, mas não tem muita coisa que eu queira aqui não. As coisas que me interessam. Oi, Net. Uh... Olha que legal, Net. Eu tô pegando sua água suja, seu hair away, tá? Não, não se preocupa não. Uh, camisa Red Rocket não me interessa. Iguana no espeto não me interessa neste momento. Contudo que Iguana no espeto. Deixa eu mostrar uma coisa legal sobre isso. Ela é um ótimo alimento, tá? Porque ela pesa 0.1. Os alimentos que tem marca no espeto, eles são bons, tá? E como eles pesam um pouco... Grande porque não serve de nada, mas vocês vão pegar... Munição... Hum... Redex... Eu não vou ficar pegando toda a decoração da casa dela não, só pra não ficar zoado, que eu acho feio também. Eu recomendo vocês pegarem, tá? Eu que não gosto. Beleza. Agora a gente vai fazer a faxina aqui na... Beleza, vamos começar aqui falando com a... na agência. Que ela tem um diálogo a mais. O episódio não tem combate, tá? Vai ser um pouquinho mais longo, mas eu, não, eu vou matar todo mundo só. Algo muito What has he gotten himself into this time? Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast a ways. People with power there care about two things, style and body count. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat get up. Please hurry. É só pelo roleplay que eu dei essas respostas, tá? Porque é mais rápido você só falar que vai ajudar e vida que segue. Mas se eu ter feito isso. Não. Não vamos subir nível. Ela já marca Good Neighbor no mapa pra você, tá? Vamos tirar isso aqui. E vamos nessa. Ah, já vamos falar com o, o Abad. Ai, ah, eu sintético de merda. Ninguém quer ver o seu discurso, não. Não toque a paint. O que? Por quê? This is the wall, the great green guardian that keeps out the bad guys. Uh, no one's broken through the wall. Never. The least we can do for her in return is keep her looking pristine. Thinking you need a little education. Maybe a bit of community service. What do you say? Everybody. Happy to help out. Everybody. You see this paint I'm using? Everybody. Only one place left in the whole like commonwealth you can get it. Hardware town. Rune store close by to the west. Bring back a can of paint, and it'll be a hundred caps in your pocket. How's that sound? Paint retrieval. I'm on it. Much obliged. 
is the great green guardian behind me. The wall. Our a Piper teria gostado mais se eu tivesse falado que eu não ia tocar, tá? Mas não tô aqui. Ah, Piper, tá fumando esse negócio. Larga isso. Larga. Ah, eu tô com um mod que melhora as feições dos personagens, tá? Caguei pra você. Bora. O Pirralho já tá aqui? Pra já fazer a quest dele? Make me shut down this in the standing It's a health hazard, Chang. I Tá bom. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City, a place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Sounds like it must be exhausting. Huh, no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary, knowing what's really out there. <laughs> a night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid some institute drone will decide. Today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it, because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh, one day, Our dad turns up dead. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, the captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was gonna leave the gates open one night. Let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was gonna turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. <laughs> the town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. I'm sorry about your dad. Thanks. It was hard after he was gone, but knowing that he died doing right, that's always made it easier. But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who, who actually seems to get it, you know? So, should we head out? Como eu falei, a gente vai pegar afinidade com a Piper antes de sair de Diamond City, tá? Essa quest vale a pena ser marcar, tá? Só porque, principalmente quando você não tá com o perk subaquático, então dar um redex aqui, porque... Uh, 
E aumentar um pouquinho mais a nossa resistência à radiação. 135, tá bom bastante. Vamos lá. Eu, na real, não tô enxergando dessa vez. Máquina de escrever. O balde. Não se estresse com a radiação, não, tá? A torradeira. O crânio. E... e bora falar com o Pirralho. Ei, Pirralho. É, tinha um cano mano, Pirralho. Why was there a skull in the water? So maybe you weren't the first person I asked. Maybe the last guy found an unstable hand grenade. Hey, once the filters do their job, it's all water under the bridge. Am I right? Anyway, uh, need some water? No, maybe later. Sure, sure. Se você falar que não tem interesse, seria muito bom você, tá? Vamos seguir aqui. Deixa eu tirar esse negócio da cara. Hum, vamos rodar por aqui. Você pode... Eu poderia roubar esses negócios aqui, mas não vou não. Com a Piper não, não rouba, tá? Se você começar a roubar, ela vai ficar maluca. Vou pegar a quest aqui. Eu vou começar a pular os diálogos, tá? É só o diálogo da Piper que eu vou mostrar. Ah, aula de biologia? Tá, tá, tá. Tanto faz. Ok. Aí eu O Lex iria acertar isso. Ah, yep. Ok. Tá bom. É, eu até tinha, só que eu usei. É, essa glândula de, de varejeira, ela tem uma bolsa de ácido, então toma cuidado quando você pegar ela pra você não usar, tá? Já liberou a quest do um homem de confiança? Hum, deu. Desmarcando tudo. Agora vamos pra cá. Falar com ele. Eu quero um serviço. Aham. Ok. Tá bom. Piper gostou. Vou pegar o serviço aqui. Piper, vem pra perto. Você não vai inventar de querer conversar agora, né, Piper? Ah, tá. Quer um serviço? Tá bom. Piper te admira. <risos> It usually finds me. Hey, I'm not one to judge. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. <laughs> In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. Heck, until recently, they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. Anything for a story, I suppose. You've led an exciting life. Sure have. But honestly, now that I'm out here with you, I feel like I'm just getting started. Getting in trouble is what folks like us do. I mean, you and I are out here putting ourselves at risk so people in the Commonwealth can have a chance at a better life. Not for praise or reward or glory, but because it's right. I, I just, 
wanted to let you know. I'm real happy to be along for the ride. I'm glad you're here too, Piper. Thanks, Blue. That means a lot coming from you. So, you want to get out of here? Ah, é. Agora vamos lá. A gente tem. Uh, no Cut Cherry. Hum, acho que ela vai ter. Ajuda no cacola. Eu vou gastar dinheiro, mas compensa, tá? Hum, deixa eu ver se tem algo que eu quero vender pra ela. Pra vender. Olha, com tudo que eu queria, esses parafusos. Só pra amortizar um pouquinho a grana. Vende você. E você. Só pra amortizar a grana. Por que, que eu comprei? Aí você vem aqui. Ô Sheffield. Sheffield, vira de frente, mano. Não consigo falar com você. Vou me afastar e voltar. Ah, da hora. O Sheffield tá bugado, tá? E aí? Sheffield. So thirsty. Nuka-Cola! Vamos fazer o seguinte, vamos dar uma volta e ver se a gente se acerta aqui com, com o chefe. Vamos entrar na escola. Enquanto as crianças choram. Pega a revista. Vamos lá. Que Vamos ver se o chefe de volta à posição original. Ele tá de costas, ele está de frente. Vamos lá. Eu acho que eles precisam saber que o mundo não vai se desligar em volta deles. Sim, eu acho que você não pode fazer um filho no céu falando. Eu tenho uma pergunta antes de ir para você. Não é um outro quiz. Eu só... Eu não posso falar com muitos outros. Eu ouço isso. Você acha que você pode ter alguém que você trouxe que você é muito, muito diferente? Pela... Pelo roleplay, eu ia colocar não sei, mas... If you love someone, hold on to them. Só para ela vai conseguir as coisas para a Piper. Só por causa disso. Só para pegar afinidade com a Piper. Pelo roleplay a gente não ia responder isso, tá? Às vezes quando eu tenho que sair só para pegar afinidade mais rápido possível com. Ela. Hum, próximo. Deixa eu ver se o chefe de mudou de posição. Não. Tá no cacola. Consegui. Subimos de nível? Caraca! Ah, uh, hey, What do you think about coming to work for me? Really? You you mean it? Yep. That's right. Sanctuary Hills. Okay. I'll I'll do it. Não, eu não disse que eu poderia usar alguma ajuda. Eu 
This isn't the sort of thing I'd normally bother anyone else with, but you just seem really good with people, and I've got this issue with my sister, Nat, becoming me. Becoming you? What do you mean? I'm just terrified she's gonna start taking up like her big sis. I mean, think about the life we lead. No offense intended, Blue, but personal safety doesn't exactly seem like either of our strong suits. I can't have her ending up like her big sister. Dodging bullets and running from all the people she pisses off. It's part of the reason I'm on the road so much. Part of the reason I'm here with you. I keep thinking... Maybe if I make myself scarce, if I'm not around her enough, she'll cool off. She'll just go back to being sweet, innocent Nat, paper girl, and all-around upstanding citizen. What do I do, Blue? You just love her. Family's precious. The last thing you want to do is drive them away because you might lose them forever. You're right. I can't risk that. Thanks, Blue. Who'd expect wandering off with a stranger to turn out this well? They really don't make them like you anymore. <laughs> You're a hell of a friend, you know that? The feeling's mutual, Piper. Ain't that the truth? But hey, thanks again for listening. It's a real weight off my chest to be able to talk it out with someone. So, you wanna hit the road? É assim que a nossa vida é muito perigosa. Ele só deu a volta na cidade, viu, Pepe? Enfim, próximo. O chefe já foi embora. Vamos lá pra cima. Vamos começar a dar no City Blue. Hum... Eu posso começar a dar no City Blues? É melhor não arriscar com a Piper. Vamos pegar a quest dos irmãos Brobov aqui. Diamond City Radio is terrible, yes? It makes you want to cut your own ears off. So, what's the issue? Have you not listened? This DJ Travis, he's terrible. Makes me want to go back in time and prevent radio from ever being invented. Vadim! It's true. Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Are you serious? Did we not just agree this is serious problem? Calls for serious solution. First, you get him to follow you out of town. Vadim, right. that's this enough. This isn't funny. Vadim isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Okay, what's really going on here? <laughs> Sorry, we were just joking around a bit. <laughs> it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job, or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. So, are you actually trying to do something about it? I tell you themes that I have planned. He does not believe me. You, you and I work on plan. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Os diálogos são a melhor forma de você conseguir afinidade, tá? Independente de qualquer coisa, oh, sempre faz diálogos com os companions perto, tá? Que diálogo, diferente de ações que tem o gatilho, diálogo não tem. Ô, oh, oh, Piper. Hey. Vem pra cá. Vamos lá. Ok, let us get down to brass tacks. I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother, Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. So, what did you have in mind? 
I'm gonna need some more in the way of details. Ever been in bar fight? I can hold my own, if that's what you mean. This one's a pretty tough cookie. Exactly what I mean. I want you to back up Travis in his first fight. I want to stage fight here in dugout. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? I'm on board. When do we start? Why not soon as possible? I have contacts. People I can count on. Real tough looking. But they will take a die for money. They confront Travis here at Dugout. You step in and give him push he needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? Yeah, it's too late today for me to arrange. You come back tomorrow evening after six o'clock and everything will be ready. É, é, a Piper gostou, tá? É que se vocês verem que não tá aparecendo o negócio de fome e sede ali, ó, tá no, lá embaixo, mas não aparece no parte superior da tela. É um bug que tem que às vezes não aparece as notificações, tá? Mas bora lá. Acho que a primeira parte do Diamond City Blues não tem problema eu fazer com a Piper. Vem, Piper. É porque eu tenho que fazer uma sequência bem certinha pra não perder, tá? Porque eu quero pegar todos os narcos. Ela vai entrar comigo assim, então bora. Ela fala, se afasta. E deixa o pau torar. Mas isso aqui vai rápido, porque eu quero falar com aquela mulher ali. I can't believe you'd do this to me, Cook. Do what to you, Paul? You smug bastard. You keep away from my wife, goddammit. You better get out of here. É só eles não me acertarem, por isso que eu vim aqui pro cantinho. You son of a bitch. Don't hurt him, Hank. Ui. Go on. Get out of here. I'll be at home, Darcy. Taking care of our son. A Darcy não presta. Sorry, I had to see that. Things are usually a lot quieter around here. Perfect place to drink if you're buying. What was that argument about? Uh, nothing much. You see, Darcy here likes to relax and enjoy life from time to time, and her husband Paul doesn't. He's not a bad guy, really. Just a little uptight. Too bad he can't learn to relax, huh, Darcy? Shut up! I don't come here to talk about Paul. You there? I haven't seen you in here before. Why don't you make yourself useful and buy me a drink or something? You come here often? As often as I can. Henry is so good at listening to my troubles. Troubles? What would you know about that? Now, can I get you something to drink? So is this your place? That's right. Owner, bartender, sympathetic ear. I try to provide a little oasis from the hardships of life. Name's Cook, by the way. Henry Cook. Let me know if I can get you anything. I'll think about it. Later then. Vamos ver se já dá o gatilho para falar com essa velha aqui. Vai, fica aqui pertinho. Hi. Well, hello there. Another one of the poor and stupid of Diamond City come begging for table scraps? Wow, there are no words. I don't care for your tone. Why don't you run along before I make a complaint with security? And miss basking in your delightful personality? Do what you like, but I'm done talking to you. A Piper gosta disso, agora vamos lá falar com o outro. Se ele não estiver aqui no meio da, do mercado, ele tá lá no... No bar do Vadinho. Não foi ele ali? 
Hey. 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 You there. I, um... I have a question for you. What do you want? You were in the tap house before, and... You tried to punch out the bartender. What was that all about? I thought it was dead obvious. Cook is sleeping with my wife. And I'm supposed to just pretend I don't know. Until Cook decides he's bored with her and she comes crawling back home to me. So, where do I come in? I'm going to go back and talk to him, and I want you to come with me. You saw? He won't take me seriously otherwise. I don't want to have to really hurt him, I just want him to leave Darcy alone. If you're just gonna talk to him, why do you need me alone? I don't want to hurt Cook, but if he doesn't listen to me, I don't know what I might do. He won't dare act so smug when he sees you at my back, and then nobody has to get hurt. Okay, I'll help you. Okay, good, good. I'm sure Cook will back down once he sees you're with me. Let's go. You do the talking. I'll be the intimidating presence. All right. Come on. A Piper não gostou aqui, ó, não, não deu nada, mas ela vai responder, tá lá em cima. Quando eu chegar ali em cima, na hora que eu, eu seguir esse diálogo, ela não vai achar ruim, não. E aí, Nelson, aproveita suas últimas horas de vida, tá? Tchau, Nelson. Okay. Eu já vou entrar, esperar começar o diálogo. Não sei que a nossa radiação tá alta, não, tá? Mentar esse jogo. Eu tenho só mais um mentado de jogo que eu já vou usar depois, tá? Hidratou. Uh, ele pediu que eu ajudasse. Is that how it is? Okay. Well, I'm listening, Paul. What do you have to say this time? Just this. You leave Darcy alone starting now or else. Now that is a very bad idea. You don't want to pull a gun on me unless you intend to use it. But you think I won't use it? Huh? Do I just need to kill you? Is that what you're saying? Why don't you see if Cook is going to listen? And hey, maybe put the gun away. I get it, Paul. You've got every right to be pissed off at me, but we can work this out. Keep talking. Okay, good. Henry, you you want to make with the apologizing? Look, I uh I'll stay away from Darcy from now on. It's over. You have my word on that. Your word? What's your fucking word worth, huh? I'll make it up to you. I know a way to get a lot of money right now. You and I both know the only reason Darcy comes up here is she's pissed at you. If you were flush again, everything would be different. Besides, I owe you for what I've done. Well, what do you think? How are you gonna make us all rich, Cook? Gather around and I'll tell you. Here's the deal. I have some other um, businesses on the side. One of them is helping Nelson Latimer spend his dad's money to make himself feel like a gangster. And we're gonna relieve Mr. Latimer of some of his money. Holy shit, Coke, does Malcolm know about this? What do you think? No, of course not. Anyway, that's between him and Nelson. So where was I? Oh yeah. Me and Nelson are supposed to be meeting some gentlemen from Good Neighbor to exchange Nelson's cash for their chems. My plan is simple. We take the money and the chems. I'm in. 
Let's do this. What do you say, Paul? Are we good? Good? Hardly. But I don't mind you helping me get rich. Ooh, you got a minute? Sure thing. Just what you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head, and what you said was right. Family's too precious. What kind of life is she gonna have if I never go near her again? It's just... Sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with the nosy reporter. Yeah, but you're my kind of nosy. <laughs> you're the exception. I haven't exactly made a lot of friends in this career. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. It turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions, people may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. Sounds like you really cleaned up Diamond City. Well, a lot of things got done. They even put a second bookshelf over that hole and patched it with bricks. When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things... things changed. People didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, the friend and confidant, to Piper, the nosy snoop. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. I started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. You can count on me, Piper. I know I can. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but being here with you now, now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you for being the friend I can count on. It sounds to me like you're interested in becoming more than just friends. Oh, I, I mean, <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I never thought about you that way. Not that I'm always thinking that way. It's just... Blue. I'm loud and pushy and constantly getting in over my head. Why would someone like you ever want someone like me? You don't need to be flawless, Piper. You're perfect for me. Perfect, huh? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a new one. Well... Hmm. <laughs> Well, I think you're perfect, too. <laughs> Goodness, Blue, I... I don't know what to say. You're everything I could ever ask for. Come on. Let's not keep the world waiting. Oh... Nosso personagem, ele é manipulador, né? <laughs> então, você já sabe o que eu acabei de fazer. E sabe qual é o próximo passo. Piper. Heads up. Just let me know. Piper. Anything you need? Uh, I think we're done for now. If you're sure, <laughs> I guess I'll head home. Just uh, don't keep me waiting. Ela vai pra casa dela se você faz assim. Tchau, Piper. Vai embora. Isso. Vai. 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 Espera ela sair, tá? Sim, eu vou lutear o lugar. <risos> ah, nunca cola? Munição. Ah... As águas, mais uma nunca cola. Vou pegar essas duas creme. Dependendo de tudo, eu como elas. Hum... E tá bom. Não tem mais nada que me interessa. Isso aqui é, é comida de cachorro? Não, é porco com feijão. Se fosse comida de cachorro, me interessava. Então... Gunnet Ale. Gunnet Brew. 
Gwyneth Bro. Mais uma Gwyneth Bro. Eu tenho que ficar esperto, que às vezes entra alguém aqui, tá? Gwyneth Ale, Gwyneth Ale, Gwyneth Ale e água suja. Essa aqui é a Gwyneth ou... É, Gwyneth Bro. Garrafa de cerveja. Pegando tudo que tinha de interessante aqui. Então, era isso que eu tinha pra fazer nesse vídeo. Valeu, falou e até a próxima. Fui!